Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm continuing to teach in the book of Psalms 19, and I'm reading at verse 8. It says, The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Well, when it talks about the statutes of the Lord are right, one of the problems that you and I, all of us have nowadays is trying to get the truth out of anyone, <laughs> especially those who are leaders oh, over us in authority anyway. And uh, we find that we become rather cynical because it's hard to find anyone that you can actually believe or trust with what they're telling you. And yet, here I have in my hands this wonderful Word of God, the Bible, and it says the statutes of the Lord are right. And you know what? That alone gives me joy. It says rejoicing the heart. It's good to know that when I read the Bible, the words contained in it are true and they are right. If I follow what the Word of God tells me to do, I know I'm going the right way and I am doing, we say, the right thing, right? Doing the right thing. So that's one thing I can say about the Word of God. A second reason why we ought to read the Word of God and apply it, it says the commandment of the Lord is pure. That means there's no mixture of errors. Some people say, well, there are errors in the Bible. I've been reading the Bible for some time now, and I read it in depth. I don't just skim over. I read it and think about it. I've not found in it anywhere there's impurity. Never have I found anywhere where God tempts us to sin. Never does he instruct us to do the wrong thing. Never. He does confront sin, and he does, in the Word of God, call it like it is, which is, I find, rather refreshing. Um, and it says the commandment of the Lord is pure. That means when God tells you to do something, the reason he's telling you to do that is a pure motive. It's not a secret or hidden agenda. God isn't trying to play games with you or me. He's telling us things for our own good and for the good of everyone else around us. So it says, in enlightening the eyes. This means there's light. I don't know how you are, but as I get older, I need light in order to see what I'm doing. Um, even young people need some light, but I find I need more light as I get older. It helps me to do things right the first time. It also keeps me from uh, injuring myself if I'm walking around in the dark. Uh, it's better to have a light with me than not. And so enlightening the eyes means that God is showing me where to go and enabling me to see where I'm placing my feet, where am I where I'm stepping, so I don't step into something I shouldn't be stepping in or stubbing my toe along the way. And then the last thing I want to say about this is the fear of the Lord is clean. Um, sometimes people do things and say things or ask you to do things that makes you just feel dirty because it's not right. But the fear of the Lord is clean. This kind of fear is not of where I'm scared to death of God at all. It's more of a deep abiding reverence for Him. And it is clean and it endures forever. I don't have to wonder, okay, what's next? This was right yesterday, not tomorrow. What's going to be right tomorrow? No. With God it's consistent. I don't have to worry at all about the things God has told you or me to do. They're always right forever. God bless you. Have a great day.